A local church youth leader is behind bars this afternoon over allegations of having an inappropriate relationship with a 15 year old. According to police, that man is 29 year old Luis Mendoza of Clinton Township. Authorities are now asking for more victims to come forward. Our Genovici is outside the Macomb County Sheriff's Office with more on what investigators are saying about this case. Well, because Mendoza was a youth leader at Stony Church in Washington Township and had access to the youth at that location, investigators fear there could be more victims. It's an alarming case. Commander Jason Abro with the Macomb County Sheriff's Department says an investigation into this man, 29-year-old Luis Mendoza, led to a disturbing discovery. Uh, we received information uh, in early September uh, about a uh, sexual assault that took place involving uh, a juvenile and we learned that the person uh, of interest, the, the alleged person of interest, was, was a church uh, youth leader. Abro says Mendoza was a youth leader volunteer at Stony Church in Washington Township and says the allegations against him are very concerning. You know, as being a church youth leader, right, it's someone that we trust. It's someone that, you know, the families trust. It's someone that the, the church, their, their own um, leadership there trust, and, and to break that trust is, is a major violation. Mendoza has been charged with one count of third-degree criminal sexual conduct. If convicted, he could face life in prison. Meanwhile, Abro is asking for the public's help as their investigation continues. And being around uh, youths, you know, we're asking that if there's anyone else, if there's any information uh, specific about this incident or any other incident that this youth leader was involved in, to please come forward to the sheriff's office. Mendoza remains behind bars here at the Macomb County Jail, but again, investigators say if there are any more victims out there, they want you to call the Macomb County Sheriff's Department in Macomb County, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.